chosen ones, empaths. A lot of times you may not even realize the real reason why the narcissist left your life. You know, I'm talking about why they suddenly ghosted you, why they suddenly cut you off, why they suddenly just disappeared, right? Now, the reason for this is, right, is because I made a video the other day about how they're walking on eggshells, how they're constantly trying to keep up with this false facade. And there may have been a, a chink in their armour, you know, a scratch that revealed beneath the surface, which they saw, you saw, and even though you might have been so in the brain fog and it wasn't enough to go by, you saw through them slightly about something. Now, once the narcissist, and that was out of their control, that was out of your control, that was merely the universe or God exposing them, revealing their true nature, and they run like chickens. They run off scared. They can't confront you. They can't sit down and talk. They know you see through the games. They know you've seen one thing. This, is, this may have happened in your scenario, in your situation. It may have not. But this is exactly how it played out in my life. Um, the last time I was at the narcissist, when I was with the narcissist, they said something to me. It didn't sit right in my spirit. I went and prayed to God. And I said, God, guide me to the truth for this individual. Those were my exact words. And I'm telling you, at God's speed... The whole unmasked income of the narcissist, the, the full, the full evil, uh, malignant, disgusting, despicable narcissist come out of the surf, come out from beneath the surface. And all I did is just see one thing, right? And then, then they kept moving the goalposts and they were doing little subtle hoovers. I didn't know about narcissism at the time. I just thought I was dealing with my soulmate. I didn't know I was dealing with a narcissist at the time. So they were moving the goalposts. They're saying we're going to meet. They're doing all these little games. And they're basically distracting me from what my eyes actually laid, laid upon. About what I originally caught them out about. Right? Because I caught them out about one lie. That's all I did is I catch them out about one lie. And um, they were phoning my phone. And normally before... When I used to get into an argument with a narcissist, I would always rush around to their house and would would argue and then would make up and then that's how it would be. But this time, I just decided not to rush around it, you know, because I felt like, um, nah, I felt like, nah, they lied. They've actually lied. <clears throat> and a friend said to me, it could be much worse. And I thought, what bullshit advice that is, you know. What bullshit advice that is, it could be much worse. Because I knew that if I don't trust an individual, that's the way I operate. If I don't trust you, if I if if it's not all truth with us and I don't I can't trust you, then there's no relationship. You see what I'm saying? And that's how it was with me and the narcissist. That's what our relationship stood upon was what I thought was truth, honesty, love, um, expressing our heart that's what I thought it was about and when I when they got exposed and I didn't rush around to their house they decided to run for the hills they decided to try and ghost try to disappear you're right then they were doing hoovers little temperament checkers to make sure oh, am I am I am I am I getting reeled back in right when I look back in retrospect now but this is why the narcissist oftentimes disappears out of your life. You need to look back in your own journey, your own story, and see, was there something that happened significant where they got exposed? Because they don't like being exposed. They're like a vampire with sunlight. Like, you know, when it, it, they, they shriek and they, 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 they feel like they need to run, you know, because they've been keeping up this game for so long. You know, it is it is tiresome on their on it does take a toll on their health, you know, keeping up this facade constantly. 
That's why I made the video about walking on eggshells. Because, um, and then someone mentioned in the comments, oh, um, they don't walk on eggshells, they don't care, they just manipulate. But I'm trying to, what I was trying to paint to you in that picture is, they are walking on eggshells because they're pretending to be something they're not to be in the presence of an empath and a chosen one. They're pretending to be something they're not constantly, 24 hours a day, day in, day out. They're pretending to be something they're not. And yeah, we see little streaks of this and little streaks of bad behavior, but it's not enough to go by. But once we see the exposure and they know they've been exposed, they will run. They will run far. They will not want to confront you. And this is often what's happened in your situation. You know, this is often why they'll rush off now. And then you need to leave them at this point. At this point, you just need to leave them gone. Because they're going to go out and try and search for you. And this is when they make dreadful decisions. This is when they make terrible, terrible decisions. When, when they're in this frame of mind of um, flight mode, where, they, where, they've, where they've gone, right? They're looking for any form of supply. So they'll grab the lowest hanging fruit on the tree and they'll make it, you know, trying to make shit shine. And they'll bring this person well into their life and they'll start, then, then, this is the next move that they make when they're moving the goalposts. They'll... They'll, they'll present their new supply on their social media and to try and hurt us. But the problem is they've only gone with this new supply in spite of us. They haven't gone with this new supply because they're a good source of supply. They haven't gone with this supply because they love them. They, ha they, they can't love anyway. But I'm just saying they haven't gone with this new supply for any proper reasons. They've merely gone with this new supply to make us jealous. And if you're able to see beneath the veil and understand, it don't matter if they've been out your life a year, two years, and they're with this new supply, they're, they're, they, found, they have no foundations. They're, the foundations of their relationship are built upon, the, not, the, new t the new target might not know, but the foundations of the relationship are built upon making you jealous. And how far is that going to go? They're just going to be miserable. <laughs> And oftentimes they run into toxic individuals, like I mentioned. They'll run into a toxic individual, uh, another narcissist. Hold on, let me just have some of my tea. They'll run into another narcissist, you know, sociopath, psychopath. But you've got to understand that they ran out of your life for this reason in particular. Because they were exposed. They can't confront you. They're scared to confront you. They're scared to stand toe to toe with you and actually have a discussion because they know you'll slaughter them. They know they have no substance left. They know they have no more trickery up their sleeve. They don't have it because, as I said, they're like a vampire to sunlight. They've been exposed. They feel vulnerable. They're scared of what you might do to them. And I'm just talking verbally. You know, we inflict injuries upon injuries. You know, some of these injuries we, you know, when, when the narcissist used to mirror us and we would mirror them back. Um, some of these injuries we caused were very brutal injuries. And it takes a long time for a narcissist to recover from a narcissistic injury. Like, it really damages them. It really, really damages them. So I just want you to understand that just because the narcissist left your life and they might have ghosted you or they might have run out on you, it doesn't mean that they run out on you because you're, because you're not worthy. They run out of your life because they're not worthy. I hope you're with me here, people. Like, honestly speaking, this is exactly what happened in my scenario. I'd like to know in the comment section if you've been through a similar experience. But honestly... When they get exposed, they run for the hills, man. They run for the hills. And leave them. Once they've gone off, especially once they've gone off of a new supply, there's no coming back. You know what I'm saying? Before you see them with their new supply, you're still hoping, you're still thinking maybe. Da -da 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 -da. Once you see them with a new supply, you can never, ever let them back in your life. Because they, they possibly got STDs. 
possibly they've definitely got soul ties. They've definitely they they're harboring dark spirits. All of the sexual partners that that partner has been with, they're harboring all these soul ties and stuff. You ain't got time to let that back around you. And if you've got children and things like that, you can't be putting your life in danger. So anyway, just remember the narcissist disappears out of your life because they got exposed. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you'd like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I have a secondary channel, the spiritual channel. If you want to check that out, the link is also in the description box. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon.